Hello everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of Friday, November 22nd through Sunday, November 24th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for I just watched my time counter go backwards again, you guys. It was at four and then it went back to three to two to one. And now we're counting back up. It's at 10 seconds now. This is happening consistently, you guys. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. Um, Just because this is dated for the, the, the 22nd to the 24th doesn't mean it has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. I also, I kind of feel like every time I'm talking about time being illusion, an illusion is when I notice that my, my clock is going backwards or something like that. Have you, is that, is that a thing or was that just how it happened this time? I'm not sure. Spirit just said, yes, that is a thing, Eric. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's so crazy. Um. So before, um, well, first I have two announcements. The first one is that the 24th is uh, a, the birthday of someone that is a very, very special person, someone who is quite an amazing soul um, and someone I've, uh, that I've had the pleasure of chatting with, getting to know a little bit. Um, it is his birthday on the 24th. So Michael, if you were watching this, I just want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. I want to tell you that um, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. And yeah, happy birthday to you. Okay, so then the other thing that I want to mention is um, that I'm looking to do I, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be recording a Twin Flame mirror reading. I'm, I, I have a desire to bring the mirror readings back. Now, if you are fairly new to my channel um, and you came in after I stopped doing those weekly readings, um, um, uh, the mirror reading is a, <clears throat> is a format or a spread that I developed to look at how the masculine and feminine energies within the Twin Flame Collective were potentially mirroring each other or at least where they stood on their own in their own way in their paths you know towards union or alignment whatnot whatever um and i stopped doing them for a while and so i had been doing the getting to know your inner masculine getting to know your inner feminine but i had a desire to not separate them anymore um i want to you know still do readings for the twin flame collective specifically even though even though it's turning out that these daily morning coffee readings are, you know, fairly <clears throat> uh, uh, tend to be pretty twin flameish <laughs> on the regular, um, I want to do an official twin flame mirror reading again because I want to group the two together. Like I want to look at both sides. I want to look at the feminine side and the masculine side. But then I also I want to just put it together. I don't want them to have. To, I don't want them to be separate anymore. So, if you want to get an idea of what those readings used to be. You can look back in the past of my channel, <clears throat> or you can just wait for this next one. Uh, I think I'm going to record it today, and then I'll release it tomorrow, so or Saturday, so you guys have something to to sink your teeth in to over the weekend. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. Okay, so let's get into today's um, pre-shuffle energies. Now, the first thing that came out today was this Five of Pentacles. Um, and what I'm picking up with that is loneliness. There is a sense of solitude, of maybe even feeling alone. And that's been coming out a lot for the collective lately, it just at least in the readings that I've done here, these morning coffee readings over the past few days. And then sure enough, right after that, this Knight of Wands energy came out. So there's definitely a level of loneliness that people are experiencing right now i do kind of feel like this is more on the masculine side because we do have this ace of pentacles with the king of cups here um it's the king of cups that's kind of giving me that that loneliness vibe um 
And yet there's also a sense of maturity, emotional maturity that is kind of maybe coming into play here. Overall energy, you do have the three of wands. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles, all right? And this side of the Three of Wands, this looks like the Emperor to me, all right? So again, this would be more masculine energy. There is... This also, to be quite honest, this doesn't necessarily just have to be loneliness. This could have to do with um, some sort of business opportunity. I'm also kind of getting a vibe of not really being able to be a part of the general workforce anymore, not really resonating with like a typical nine to five job um, and working on creating something new for yourself, something that is way more fulfilling. Okay. Um, emotionally something that resonates with you more something that is more authentic to you on an emotional level uh slowly but surely building that developing that this also could be romantic in nature i mean i'm not gonna lie i had a moment yesterday or last night where i felt all of this really intense energy this like intense yearning for someone that i can't even tell you i know <laughs> at least not yet and it was um tip it was it re it was a, um um uh it resembled an energy that aluna ash had been talking about and it might have been in her most recent video um but at one point i remember she was talking about how you could she was talking about how we connect we we create energetic connections with people when we like are physically intimate or even emotionally intimate with them um and also she was talking about how you know you can feel a certain longing for someone or you your 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 body could be experiencing a certain longing for someone even though you may not have necessarily may not have necessarily met them yet or whatnot whatever but I, I say all that to say i had a moment last night where i was feeling all of this intense yearning and hearing all these messages um of like i want to be your partner i want to be your lover i want to be your boyfriend i want to be your husband blah 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 whatnot whatever and this was all coming from the masculine side or the masculine collective and it wasn't anyone specific i wasn't picking up on energies of anybody specific it was just like i was experiencing the masculine collective feeling this longing feeling this yearning okay feeling this and these energies of isolation separation or even um loneliness um but this has a lot to do with being on that enlightened path being that torch bearer that light worker this knight of wands energy okay i was feeling the energy of masculine energies coming into conscious awareness of what they desire emotionally okay and wanting to have or wanting to make some sort of offer wanting to make some sort of offer of commitment wanting to give something of tangible value to the feminine potentially okay but what i do want to say is this is all part of the path you have this three of wands here all right this is all part of the journey of what i'm hearing of finding yourself and even completing yourself okay i mean there's a moment where you're going to have to go through a period of maybe intense yearning or longing when she, but this is i feel like this is an energy of like the onset of coming to terms with what it is you truly desire on an emotional level what is an understanding what it is that's going to fulfill you what it is that's going to help you feel happy safe secure um help you feel further fulfilled i mean obviously we're in this energy of not looking for external validation or or requiring or seeking external validation or seeking any sort of um wholeness or completeness to come from extern the external world and yet there is still a desire to be connected to people to not feel so isolated to not feel so alone um and that's that's normal you guys we are we are social beings at our core okay so just because you know we we need to find validation and happiness and fulfillment within that doesn't mean that 
there aren't certain elements to our lives on an external level that won't help us feel that way, won't help us. It doesn't mean that we don't still need to connect with people and have a meaning, really meaningful relationship. And if love and romance and a family and that kind of thing is something that is really important to you, something that you really desire, it doesn't mean that you won't find that extra happiness, extra fulfillment in the external with a partner, okay, with an ideal partner, whether that be, I don't know, whether that be a twin flame, whether you want to call it a twin flame or you just want to call it like a divine partner. Uh, counterpart soulmate whatnot whatever whatever is going to fulfill you whatever is going to resonate with you and serve your highest good i mean look at it this way this th there's a dolphin on this card here the king of cups and dolphins are social creatures okay they're high in vibration they're high vibrate highly they are high in vibration <laughs> good god that was so difficult to get out they they vibrate on a very high level, and yet they're still very, very social creatures, okay? And they're also very playful. And actually, that's something that... That's a, that's a, that's a common misconception when it comes to masculine energy. Masculine energy can be playful, is playful, loves to have fun yearns to have wants to have fun okay so let your inner child be free guys come on you know what i mean All right okay let's move forward here and see what else comes out for our weekend edition okay let's give this one shuffle and we'll see what we've got. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday. November 22nd through Sunday, November 24th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this four shuffles. Now, I am still seeing this yellow and green energy for the collective. However, I, f I feel like at this point, Maybe right now, the green energy of your heart chakra is yeah, more forefront. Is, I also want to say might be in greater focus for you. There is an energy of kind of being up in your feels this weekend, or at least right now, or at least that's the message for the collective at this moment. And it doesn't feel like a bad thing. To be quite honest, I'm being shown that King of Pentacles again. So I feel like this is a period in which we are or collectively people are really working on reigning in their emotions now that does not mean squashing them diluting them silencing them no it means taking ownership of them and helping working to balance and that also does not include um hiding or pushing your emotions away i said that i just repeated myself but that i guess i repeated myself like that because that's a really important message in this period of where you might fee be feeling very very emotional super emotional and this really could be a message for masculines out there that are really working on um mm, handling your emotions uh working with your emotions getting in tune with your emotions understanding your emotions do not i repeat do not push your emotions away. Do not stifle them. Do not try and put them out. Do not try and distinguish them. Do not try and dilute them. Do not try and mask them, face them, feel them. That is, and feeling them is really the only way to really understand them, but then also bring them into balance. Okay, so I feel like this weekend could be very emotional for some individuals, um, but you do have an opportunity to have a, to get a better 
a firmer grasp on your emotions. Again, this does not mean that you are hiding them or anything like that. Okay? All right, four shuffles. For the collective, for your weekend. What would you like to discuss with us this weekend, Spirit 3? And four skis. Ooh. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got. For your weekend, Friday, November 22nd through Sunday, November 24th. Here we go. Friday, November 22nd through Sunday, November 24th. We have something already. Okay, we're going to give this one more pass. Yes, one more. All right. All right. Weekend edition here. Best messages, please, Spirit. What would you like to discuss with us this weekend? What messages do you have for us this weekend? What's going on with the collective? It seems that there is a card that has jumped into my lap. Okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. So we have the death card here, Scorpio energy, with the king of wands. And so the card that, that jumped into my lap is the eight of cups. All right. You have the moon in reverse with the love, with not the lovers, excuse me, not the lovers, the two of cups. You have the seven of wands and you have the sun. interesting very interesting there is an energy of there's an energy of releasing some sort of illusion very interesting so okay so on the on, on this moon on this side of the moon here you have the high priestess now she's naked of course okay but she's coming to you bare um, in her purity, right? And she's handing you an opportunity. Are you going to, this is almost like, <laughs> this is almost like the Matrix, guys, where um, Morpheus basically gives Neo the opportunity to either stay asleep or wake up, okay? So you can see this, this vat of green liquid as the blue pill, or and 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 the the white orb as the red pill the red pill being the 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 pill that helps neo awaken now there are certain chemicals in that pill um that really ha that that allow neo to awaken and be released from the matrix um and so basically once you take that red pill you can never go back to sleep Okay, um, and so you have this in reverse here. All right, so what I'm getting here here is someone has. <laughs> this is really interesting the way this feels, but someone has inadvertently taken the red pill, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if you are that person now, this isn't for everybody because there are some of you that have consciously decided to wake up. Okay, but. <laughs> if but someone it did that one of the first things that i picked up on was that someone had inadvertently taken that red pill or someone has found themselves awake well welcome um i just realized you do have the sun and the moon here and the moon is reversed the sun is upright okay so this really is that awakening moment that aha moment where someone has taken the red pill they've they've released the past in terms of being asleep um and uh, what i'm feeling here especially with this two of cups is someone is consciously awakening to who they are to their to the the element or the balance of masculine and feminine within now the other thing i'm picking up on here is this there is a byproduct uh, a secondary effect to this 
conscious awakening or awareness of the balance between masculine and feminine within and that is a an awareness of a partnership a divine partnership divine counterpart or twin flame soulmate energy in the physical realm but right now the focus needs to remain on being uh, connected with the self on balancing this masculine and feminine energy within and I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys I wasn't quite sure if I really wanted to do if it was gonna be a good idea to even do the twin flame mirror readings to bring those back because I was like well wait a second it almost feels a little bit redundant because I do these weekly or not these weekly I do these daily readings um, that are intended or at least from a from a conscious point of view i intend them to be for everybody but they really turn out to be twin flame read daily twin flame readings quite frequently so i'm like well why should i even do these mirror readings and then and i was and this was during like the beginning when i before before i started recording i was shuffling you know starting to get into the energy of the day out of the weekend and and starting to connect with the collective and the eight of pentacles fell out as I was thinking about all this. And it was the side of the eight of pentacles that had come out for the last two days where you see the the man or the father, I guess you could say, or just the, um, the master crafter, master creator working on his pentacle, teaching a younger generation. And so that message was for me understanding that the, the mirror readings that I could do that I would be doing here are going to help future generations or future waves of people that are awakening to this right and then here I'm getting the similar vibe so because we have someone or individuals here that are now awakening to this journey and you're awakening to the balance of masculine and feminine within I am at this point seeing the value in doing a mirror reading to show you or give you a even though it's a general and collective reading um, to give you uh, some sort of I guess signpost to see where you are collectively where we are collectively in that balance of masculine and feminine energy so okay that makes sense to me that's good i'm i'm with it that helps so then we get to the other side of the equation where we have the eight of cups the seven of wands and the sun someone is um walking away from things that no longer serve them you see you have that balance of masculine and feminine energy with the sun and the moon here on this eight of cups card which is providing you with the wherewithal to put these boundaries in place seven of wands and to move forward towards something that's more fulfilling with this illumination of the sun at your back guiding your way lighting your path so if someone basically someone is waking up or many of you are, are are waking up and this really does feel like this I'm, I'm i'm going to be very honest with you guys this feels like a brand new wave a brand new wave now you have yes this is the death card here but it's the side that represents rebirth or symbolizes rebirth and then you have the king of wands so this is either the masculine um, or this is someone that is very confident in themselves, is taking their power back, is moving forward, um, and is doing things not in the way society tells them, but in the way that would best work for them. Okay, you do have this massive snake here, which is basically a symbol of wisdom and individuality, okay? It's like it's very much like someone has um, eaten fruit from the tree of knowledge. And in, that's kind of that's kind of the, you know, the story of Adam and Eve there where the snake coaxes or, or influences Eve to eat tree from the or to eat tree <laughs> to eat fruit from the tree of knowledge. I believe it is. Um, again, I'm not a biblical scholar, so like, please don't. Please. <laughs> so I, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying, but. But ignorance is not bliss. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Ignorance is definitely not bliss. And yes, when you, you start to awaken, you start to awaken to some cold, hard truths. But, but in essence, you are provided an opportunity to change your reality now that you're 
now that you have a greater sense of awareness. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into some clarification here. I want to start with the moon in reverse with the two of cups. And yes, I'm going to stay. I'm going to use the um, wild unknown tarot today. So let's get... Let's look a little deeper into the moon in reverse with the two of cups. Yeah, this definitely feels like a new wave of people coming to terms with this whole idea of twin flame, divine counterpart. Um, and this doesn't have to mean that you are new to this. It doesn't mean that this is something, this, is, this isn't something that hasn't been happening for you for uh, a good amount of time. It's just a matter of your awareness waking up to it, becoming consciously aware of what this is, or starting to become consciously aware of what all of this means, what this journey means, what this journey entails, what it represents, what it, what it helps you, how it helps you, how it guides you, where it, where it moves you, okay? This is conscious awareness. And for some of you, you may have been in that illusion for a long time. Um, I'm not trying to pass any judgment or throw any shade at people that do regularly, that do really work with um, Twin Flames specifically. That's like the, their, the premise of their, their work, their channel, whatnot, whatever. Um, but there are a lot of people out there that are still speaking to a certain limited point of view within the Twin Flame Collective um, and the Twin Flame journey. Uh, and focusing so much on the romantic, romantic part of the relationship between the masculine and the feminine. And that is part of it. Don't get me wrong. It is part of it, but it's not everything, okay? Me, from what I've learned on the Twin Flame journey, is that it's really more about you finding wholeness within yourself and um, healing your core wounds, um, defragmenting yourself, um, and coming back to a sense of, uh, of balance and um, whole grace, um, the balance between masculine and feminine within. And for many of us on this journey, we find that, you know, we are our own twin flames or the twin flame or the person that we thought was our twin flame was really just when you could say they were a false twin flame i would rather say that they were, they were a catalyst you know what i mean um and so now we're getting for some of you i guess especially if you're finding yourself here on my channel you are now starting to resonate with the with with the inner part of the journey the internal part of the journey the connection between the two between the masculine and the feminine and bringing that into conscious awareness okay okay that's really cool so welcome to the journey if that's you <laughs> all right let's get some greater clarity here on the moon in reverse with the two of cups and i'm just going to go ahead and say that i'm definitely one of those people that believes that anybody can hop on to the twin flame journey if you ch so choose yes there are some of us that have chosen to um to hop on here first and be like a guide and some of us have chosen this in our lifetime but you can hop on um and learn experience twin flame I, it, this is not an exclusive club <laughs> at least from my point of view it's not okay all right overall energy you do have the page of swords Interesting. Um, before I go any further, I do. Wow, this is a big old stack of cards. What, what I do want to say is, yes, this is representing the balance of masculine and, or I'm sorry, excuse me, spirit corrected me, the union and balance of masculine and feminine energy within. But also, this is the desire for a relationship to the, the conscious awareness of maybe a divine counterpart or twin flame in the external. Um, and I wanted to say that before I went into the rest of these cards because already this Page of Swords energy is reminding me of that because it feels like somebody is watching someone else. Okay, let's see. We have the Wheel of, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit, 
the page of pentacles there we go there we go the lovers it's funny because i said the lovers when the two of cups when i saw the two of cups before the nine of wands the ace of swords Ooh, the king of swords and the moon wow okay so there is definitely someone that's come to some sort of conscious awareness of a divine counterpart or a twin flame this does feel like this is on the masculine side um and i do feel like this is someone that has gone through some sort of divine feminine awakening within themselves okay so this might be happening right now or this could be something that's coming through in a wave and actually i feel like i'm really interested in seeing what this mirror reading is going to say now between between the masculine and the feminine but but we have the queen of wands the hermit and the page of pentacles and to me this is speak this is indicative of either someone having gone through a divine feminine awakening or someone potentially about to go through it fairly fairly quickly or fairly soon you have the lovers with the nine of wands and the ace of wands this is perseverance i'm feeling perseverance in the form of connecting with your divine counterpart or being with someone and then you have the king of swords with the moon um the, this definitely feels like it's the masculine here who's basically leaving some sort of mask behind is basically taking that red pill and waking up and seeing through the illusion seeing past the illusion and it's this energy here with the king of swords and the moon seeing past the illusion and all that um, that is allowing this person to really recognize maybe who their divine counterpart is that is something that i heard so i'm going to say that potentially who their divine counterpart is or who a divine counterpart could be for them in the physical realm or the desire to have this kind of connection this kind of whole and balanced unconditionally loving even forgiving connection i just heard that that's very interesting and starting over with this page of pentacles energy and the hermit in terms of having this divine feminine awakening <clears throat> which is allowing the masculine and the feminine within this person or within you to integrate in the physical realm in a conscious way beautiful and thus that then leads you to this energy here eight of cups a uh, uh, seven of wands and the sun someone leaving behind all the superfluousness all the things that no longer serve them all the things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling all of the things that were maybe never emotionally fulfilling for you and yet you're you still hung on or clung on to it for dear life for some reason now it seems you're letting that go okay so let's look a little deeper into this then wow whoa you guys whoa the devil is at the bottom of the deck but then you have strength and temperance and it's so crazy because there is there is this saying that goes around um and it's someone specific that used to say it but i don't remember her name i don't watch her channel anymore i used to watch it um i don't remember i don't remember the name of her channel anymore but um she would say whenever strength is around the devil basically whenever strength is around the devil is lurking somewhere and here we have the devil as the overall energy here but this is you having the strength to bring yourself into balance <clears throat> despite whatever toxic devilish whatnot what energy you find yourself surrounded by or you find yourself to have been participating in whatnot whatever that is really really cool this is having the strength and the wherewithal having the strength and the wherewithal to bring yourself into balance temperance is another is a is a is a union card in in terms of 
the twin flame journey. It is the alchemy. It is the balance of two opposing sides. It is the balance of the polarity. It is um, bringing two opposing sides together to create one greater whole. But having the strength to consciously do this, that is the point here. Having the strength, especially with the sun here, having the strength to do this consciously, not just like, not necessarily fall, sitting back and, you know, sub, and, and subconsciously just stumbling through this, even though some of you might still be in that energy, but I don't feel like that's going to stay, to last for very much longer. I really feel like this is a moment where people are really starting to become more consciously aware of the journey that they're on which then I'll gives you affords you the opportunity to to take conscious steps and do things uh, conscious excuse me and deliberate steps in terms of this journey which to be quite honest guys the more conscious and the more deliberate you are about the steps that you take within your awareness and your awakening journey whatnot whatever the better it's going to serve you ultimately like period the more consciously aware that you are and the more conscious steps that you take on your own path of awareness and your own awakening journey, your path of re death and rebirth here, the better it will be for you. The more force it will have in your life, the more potent it will be, the more stable your foundation, the more you will learn, just the better. You'll, the better off you'll be in the journey, okay? Excellent, 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 you guys. Okay, let's start wrapping up the reading here. Um, I'm going to start with Spirit's Take from the Golden Universal Tarot, and then we're going to get our um, Oracle Guidance, which is in fact going to come from the Lightworker Oracle again, especially since we have some new people joining us on the journey here at least in a conscious way. All right, last shuffle here for the collective. Okay, here we go. Spirit's take on the current energetic state of the collective. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you have the King of Cups with the world and the Knight of Wands. There you have it. There you have it. So someone here is, <clears throat> basically what Spirit is saying is that someone is taking emotional responsibility. I mean, you have this King, this King of Cups came out in the pre-shuffle and now he's making a reappearance. So this could be this could be masculine or feminine. It doesn't really matter, um, even though the, the King of Cups does represent masculine energy. But what I feel like here is just, it's just that somebody is taking some sort of conscious responsibility, um, emotional responsibility, putting an end to, to certain things, which actually is putting an end to certain elements to your life. And now that's leading you on this path of, mm. okay, I did hear self-righteousness. Uh, that's just a, that's just the beginning phase of it okay you're gonna especially when you start awakening to like a light working path or a torch bearing path whatnot whatever there is a bit of a sense of righteousness at the very beginning on the offset on the onset of it so okay get through that period just try and keep the preaching to a minimum because it's really probably just going to deter a lot of people at first instead of forcing people to hear your message just be your message that's really all you need to do you don't have to really it's not like you really have to say or do anything specific all you really have to do is just embody the light that you are now in tune with or consciously aware of okay um but i really do feel like here king of cups to the world some sort of emotional responsibility some sort of death and rebirth that someone is going through here this is really about the rebirth period because I do feel like you've gone through you've gone through a pretty significant death. It could have been that tower moment that we talked about yesterday, but um, there's some there's a sense of emotional responsibility that someone is 
cultivating, is taking on, that is closing out some major cycles and is allowing you to embody the light work that you were destined to, is what I just heard, okay? At the bottom of the deck is none other than the Ace of Swords, you guys. <laughs> Truth, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the aha moment, it's the epiphany, it's like someone finally gets it. Or, or not maybe not finally gets it, but somebody gets it on a certain level, to a certain extent, that is going to allow them to move forward in this way. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, you guys. I'm really, really loving this. And actually, now I am. I'm really excited <laughs> to do the mirror reading. So I'm going to record that today, and I'm going to I'm going to upload it tomorrow. But I'm really excited to see what comes through with that mirror reading. All right. So let's get our closing oracle guidance. We are going to use the Lightworker Oracle deck. Last shuffle here for the collective, for your weekend. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <sighs> wow. Uh, wow. You have card number 18, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. And this is... Um, reminding me of like the way the, the rainbow goodness the rainbow wave the rainbow wave which was a which is a wave of awakening and enlightenment aluna talks about that or had talked about that a lot in the past that was i mean we had we had some instances of the rainbow wave in i want to say march or april of 2018 and then i feel like the same around the same time this year 20 of 2019 i remember the first time that i heard about the rainbow wave i was still in school um studying audio engineering and whatnot very interesting okay but that but but the fact that this is coming out now in terms of you know, we're in, in in terms of us talking about some people that are that are reaching a new level of conscious awareness about this path. It makes perfect sense. I mean, it's that's so cool. Okay, this says card number eighteen, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. You have been growing spiritually, and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing, and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. I really want to read more of this card. I'm probably going to read the whole thing. Okay, here we go. The Rainbow Bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the development of your soul this bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised it draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body mind and soul through your chakra system as your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light and clearing process, I'm sorry, a clearing process begins, which supports the consequent. Um, I feel like this should be consequential. It says consequent, but I feel like grammatically it would be consequential. Let me say that again. As your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins which supports the consequent, the consequent expansion of your consciousness. Maybe that is correct. Anyway, this clearing is like a spiritual detoxification. It clears blocks from your mind, emotional body, and physical body, as well as from your soul, which, such as unresolved past life issues. As these blocks are broken down and processed, emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released, and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for an increase of spiritual light. 
As a result, you feel clearer about who you are and why you are here, and others see more clearly when they are in your field. You become more powerful. Your energy field continues to clear itself, attracting more spiritual light, becoming more visible beyond physical limits. Others can be supported by your light even if they cannot see your physical body. You are growing as a light worker and helping humanity in increasing ways whilst enjoying your own spiritual growth. You are opening to new consciousness now. With this comes new insight, awareness, and an awakening or deepening of your soul talents such as healing, clairvoyance, channeling, or telepathy. Your channels are being cleared and activated. Rest. Open up and allow. Be patient and trust in your process. If emotional content arises and you are concerned you might be falling back into old habits, do not be afraid. Find ways to express what you are feeling through writing, therapy, dance, music and art, sound and conscious movement. Explore your personal expression to allow for spiritual expansion. This oracle brings an additional message from spirit. Hold on. Ascension can be a wild ride. Anything is possible. The past is not an indicator. The future is not set. This is a moment to cultivate your deepest feelings of spiritual love and peace. Simply allow the genius of life to flow through you in whatever way it chooses. During ascension, your life can change quite dramatically. The rainbow bridge empowers us to rise from one reality to another. Even if your outer world doesn't change radically, internally you will feel as though you are living a different life. Eventually, the physical world changes. Yes, eventually, the physical world changes will follow. Enjoy crossing the rainbow bridge into new consciousness, dear one. You have everything you need. You are ready for this. It is meant to be. Beautiful message, you guys. So, welcome to those of you who are brand new to the journey or to those of you who have now reached a new level of conscious awareness on the journey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.